Hi, now I'm pretty sure I keep mentioning the guys down at Canterbury Automotive and that's basically because they're a group of awesome fellas. I mean, there's Luke, his dad and Ed and, and they are really helpful to us. <laughs> Look what they've given us. That's amazing. This is their old uh, compressor unit. That's a brand new three horsepower motor. This is something wrong with this, and of course we've got the tank as well. Joined up by a fan, a belt actually. There's a pulley on here, pulley on here, and a belt drive. Now we need to take that to pieces, so let's get on with that. Okay, there's not a lot to it, hey? And we've pulled off the major bits, which is the electric motor right here, and then obviously the compressor section. The tank section's still outside, and it has the control valve on it. So there really isn't that much to worry about. Now, when you're looking at something like this, obviously it's very pretty dirty, so it does need a clean. It's going to be something like the bearings or maybe the piston ring or something like that is going to be gone. But in here, those piston rings are plastic. Of course, you never do anything without first testing it. So if I put the flywheel back on and give that a spin by hand, <laughs> I'm actually getting compression in there. I can feel that airflow. So chances are, in fact, there's nothing wrong with this. It turns quite smoothly. We're getting compression. So there's nothing to do with this apart from clean it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Clean it, bolt it back onto the tank. It means the problem is going to be here or in the control valve. Now having a look at this, it's a brand new motor, I'm told. And I can see it's a brand new motor. Uh, I can see a bit of burning, so... <laughs> Don't really be rude about the guy who installed it, but he probably installed it wrong. So he's probably burnt out something in here or something in the control valve, and that's going to be the issue. But there's no issue with this section here. So we clean this, stick it back on. So there's our compressor all cleaned up and ready to go. Of course, I could put the electric motor back on here. Now, I'm tempted to, and I probably will, because it's actually really rather a beautiful thing now. However, what I wanted this for is to connect to this. The Dynapod Mark III. I'm hoping to connect the compressor to the Dynapod, cycle the Dynapod, and get some compressed air in there. So let's give that a go. Ridiculous, man. <laughs> it's actually working. It, it's easy. Okay, this is really... I mean, I got the gears low, because I was kind of thinking when the pressure gets up there, it's going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have we got any pressure? Let's take a look. Okay. So we're on the first line past zero. Awesome! So it's building. We're actually building pressure with it. So the pressure at the moment uh, is... It's about halfway between the first bar and the second bar. Awesome! And that's after about 10 minutes cycling, okay? So after 10 minutes, we're able to raise a bit of pressure in there. I mean, that's not going to win any prizes soon, but it's really interesting that we can run this compressor from the pedal cycle. It's our first effort, so there's plenty wrong with it. I mean, our fan belt here is an inner tube. Now, that's not, not going to be the best. The gear ratio is obviously wrong, so there's lots to learn from it, but it's absolutely fascinating when we can raise some pressure in there, because remember, that pressure tank actually represents a store of energy. It's just like a battery. It's a mechanical battery, if you like, and we're using a mechanical input to fill a mechanical battery, and we can use that compressed air to do other work. Yeah, we would be at it for a while to get any real pressure with this particular setup, but the improvements are pretty obvious, really. Decent fan belt, decent gear ratio, and somebody who doesn't smoke 200 cigarettes a day would probably help. Anyway, we'll carry on working with this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.